Government spokesman Mohammed Ibrahim Moalimu returned to Mogadishu Wednesday. 37 days after being injured in an Al-Shabaab attack. He had been undergoing medical treatment in Turkey. A close friend and ally of Mohamed Roble, Moalimo was received in the prime minister's office upon his return. His car was targeted in a suicide attack by terrorists in January. He recently described the harrowing attack from his hotel bed in an interview with the BBC. Moalimu is expected to compete for a seat in the lower house from Hershebele. On Tuesday, respected Imam and Somali scholar Sheikh Abdi Nasir Haji was killed by an IED in Kismayo. A device attached to his car was detonated as he was moving. Two others were injured in the attack. Haji was just visiting the Jubilan capital. He was buried the next day amid condolences from other clerics. Kismayo District Commissioner Omar Farawain made an emotional plea for security forces to avenge the killing. Sheikh Abdi Nasir was killed by a group of atheists who have no interest in Islam at all because a cleric who preaches Islam, it is not right to kill him. But for the benefit of Muslims and the people of Somalia, this cannot be forgotten. During the Kismayo attack, Danab special forces were carrying out an operation against the terrorists in Middle Shebele. The elite units say they killed 60 militants in the raids. Somali National Army Commander Odawa Youssef said his forces were supported by airstrikes from security partners. Hideouts in Gubali village were destroyed in the offensive. The operation also targeted terrorists in Fidao, Dudouble, Kaliga, and Burkadhir in the Haran region. An army spokesman said they had crippled extortion capabilities in the area. ADN-TV will continue to report on security developments throughout Somalia.